72. How's it going today? We are working on Whirlpool Refrigerator. Model number for this one. Okay, so normally there's a tag right here for the model number. This one for whatever. Oh, it's up here. So model number for this one is going to be WRX. 735 S D B M 00 and the problem with this one is that it's not cooling so we're going to go ahead and pull it out and show you what's wrong with it all right so hold on let me pull it out sorry about the light the light is going to be very tough here today but First thing you want to do when the refrigerator is not cooling is check under here for the compressor. Uh, this has a couple screws which are quarter inch and um, let me take the back off and show you what it looks like. Alrighty so the first thing you notice when you get down in here is the compressor is not running but another observation that you can see is that the uh, fan down here is not running either so usually that means a problem with the start run start relay right here so what you want to do is remove it there's a clip I don't know if you can see the clip right here you can take off the clip and you can pull this out the relay which is right there you want to do before you start touching anything is to unplug the refrigerator okay now that we unplug the refrigerator and taking off the clip here you can just pull this off and a couple ways you can check this is you shake it if it rattles then um, it's no good. It would need to be replaced. We've already looked at this one and replaced it, and we know this one is good. So let me put this one back in. Alrighty, now that you've this is the run start relay a lot of times this does go bad i know i already said that i'm repeating myself um so what you want to do is take it off the little connector right here and what you want to do if you're not sure if it works or not um, make sure you have 110 volts power coming out of here so for that you need your voltage meter and you want to set it on volts on AC and just um, put one probe in each side right here. Let me do that and show you. Sorry, I forgot my flashlight today. But with this off, you can put one plug here, one plug here, and now you can plug it back in. And this is supposed to send 110 volts to the compressor. I don't know if you can see it. You got nothing. So, um, that's telling us that there's no power coming in. So what you want to do at this point, we know it's going to be a problem coming from the board because there's no power coming into this cable. So let's look at the board and see what's going on with this um, refrigerator. See why we're not getting 110 volts right here. To access the board, first thing, once again, you want to unplug it. Then I need to remove these four 
screws to give you access to the board. So let me do that real quick. And show you what that looks like. So this one has four quarter inch screws. Once again, like I said, make sure you unplug it. You don't want to be accessing this if it's plugged in. Set the cover on the side. And with the screwdriver, there's a little gap in here to help you remove this one. So go ahead and push it in and out. So this you push in and it'll pop out. That's this. And I don't know if you can see it. Here's where we got the board. Now this one has two boards. So what you want to do So what you want to do is check your power. So these are going to be your power coming in. And this is the one that goes to your board. Um, right in here. So this is your common, the white one. This is your power, the red cable right here. So you can see it. see it let me try to show you right here this connector so you got your red is coming in common coming in and your blue which is coming out down here okay and the way you know that one it that one is is you can run a continuity test Just to make sure, so you can grab your voltage meter here, put it on continuity, and you can put one of your probes down at the compressor on the blue wire, and the other one over here on the blue wire. I don't know if you can hear the audible beep. So the cable itself is good. And that tells me it's the right plug that we're looking at. Um, you can also do that with the white. And I said common earlier, the white is the neutral. And once again, the cable's connection is good. So another thing you can do at this point, we know that the cables are good, but we're st still not getting power to the compressor. So if you look at these cables, these are powers right here. The power coming in, the red. And this one, the connector here, feeds off of this one. So... Let me see if I can show you a little bit better. Right here. See this thread? Connects right here. This is incoming right here. And this other red goes here. And this common here feeds off of this one here as well. So basically our power is coming in here to the red and the white is the neutral and then goes in, does it stay in the board, comes out blue and goes to our compressor blue. Okay. okay. 
So to verify that, we'll and show you Okay, so what you can do at this point, you want to further test what I'm saying. Now, I don't recommend this unless you know what you're doing or you feel confident. Um, so this is just a test. In no way you want to run your refrigerator like this for a long period of time. This is just meant for you to test this. So you want to get a little jumper cable like this. And what we're going to do, I'll plug it into the red right here. You can pull it out and make it easier. So you just twist it, peel it, and what you want to do, just push it into the red side here and jump it over to, to the blue side. Like this. So what you want to do is jump it like this, from the red to the blue, okay, and you can plug it back in, and now we can run our test cables over here, with your both test leads in here, put this back on to AC voltage, and now we can plug in the refrigerator again. Now you can see you get 120 volts now out of that little plug right there. So if I plug it back in, it's going to start the compression. Let me show you. You take the spec out because we verified now we got 110 volts here plug this back in and you want to plug in your relay back into your compressor now at this point you can plug it back in I don't know if you hear it, and I'm trying to see the fan, see how the fan is now working. Okay, so, so what that tells us at this point is that the computer board is bad. So the board for this refrigerator, we went ahead and purchased it already because we had already checked this. It is part number W11035835. So to remove the board, uh, move the cables out. There's a little clip right here. And you can see it, sorry. Right here, you press down and lift from the bottom and down. So there's some little grooves right here. I don't know if you can see them. They kind of hold the, the board in. So it has to go under and down to get out. So once you have the board out, then you just remove the cables. I suggest you take a picture of it, although the connectors kind of fit, you know, you can't fit this one here. But if it makes you feel better, I will take a picture of it. Well, that way you can unplug them and just start taking the cables off. The other, if you already have the part as well, obviously you're replacing it, then 
you can unplug one and plug it in, plug one out, plug it in, and do it that way. So you take one off here, put on the new one, but then you need an extra hand to hold these. So you grab the new one, and then, oh, don't forget to remove your little jumper and just start. It's easier if you put it in and it clips into place. Now you can start plugging in your cables. Just start putting them back in. The last one. And they're all in. At this point, you can plug in your refrigerator. The compressor is now running and so is your fan. That completes our repair for today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it, this video. And um, see you next time with another repair with OC Appliance DIY. Thank you.